Sasha for NetbookNews.com. I'm still at the Villa booth and we are taking a look at another 7 inch Villa system. Um, that's the X7. It's an Android tablet. So it's pretty much the same form factor as the X7T, which was running on Windows 7. Uh, of course, it has a different CPU. This is not Intel Ultra anymore. Um, this is a Samsung Cortex A8 uh, with the Power VR SGX uh, 540 GPU. So that means it's a, it's a Hummingbird platform. It's actually the same platform that you can see in the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So it's definitely going to offer you very decent performance. Um, this is running on Android 2.2 right now. But they're going to uh, bring it to the market finally with Android 2.3, that means gingerbread. It is a capacitive multi-touch screen, 1024 by 600 is the resolution. It, it comes with a rear-facing camera of 3 megapixel and a front-facing camera of 1.3 megapixel. Um, it weighs only 398 grams and gives you 9.5 hours of battery life. And it's going to be very inexpensive. I think we'll have announced it for $399. So um, it looks looks very decent over here. We have here uh, volume control, the power button, and uh, the, the typical Android buttons for for the menu, for going back home, and uh, to search and to go back. And yeah, let's take let's take a quick look at the home screen to see. Oh yeah, that's that's just very zippy. It's very responsive and very fast. There you can see. Um, I'm I'm definitely sure it, it might look. It still can get some uh, performance uh, or some additional performance with our uh, gingerbread was 2.3. And you know what? How about how about starting a little? Oh. How is it working? Here we go. Okay, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> so you see that that runs very smoothly. Of course, now with the accelerometer, that's actually not really working because I just can't unplug it here from this little stand. But anyways, it looks very decent and for $399 with the Hummingbird platform, that's going to be a very interesting device. Um, that's the Willif X7 Android tablet, 7-inch. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.